Notion's new homepage feature has been really cool and I've been using it a lot in my own personal work, but today I wanna to show you how to customize it, how to set it up, and how to make sure that all of your tasks are going into the new task list appropriately. So let's jump in and I'll show you how this works. All right, so we are in a test account here for Notion. Um, so none of the tasks here are real, but I've copied in um, a new database over here. This is the existing database that was in here. And then I have a new one that I want to make sure these tasks are going into my Notion account. So when we go to the homepage right now, we see recently visited pages with quick links to those. And then we see upcoming events, which isn't connected to anything right now. Um, and then we have my tasks. You can edit what is showing up on the Notion homepage. So if we click on these three little dots up here, we can choose what widgets are shown or hidden. So you'll likely start off with all of these checked. Um, the greeting is not good afternoon, welcome with your name on it. Um, upcoming events is the calendar. You cannot hide the recently visited pages at this time. Tasks are what we're gonna talk about. You can also do a database view, which I'm gonna leave on because I wanna show you some of that. We have the learning section and the featured templates. So let's turn all this on and I'll walk you through it. So right up top, like I said, we have recently visited. We also have a quick way to add a new page. And then we have the Notion calendar, which we will touch on in another video. That could be a whole video on its own. They have super cool features with this new edition. We have the My Tasks, which this one is currently pulling from the My Task database. We're gonna add another database to this in just a moment. We have a database view, which this basically allows you to choose one specific database that you want to see the full database here. So we'll create an example in just a moment so you can see what that looks like. The learning section will take you through some of the Notion help pages and training pages. I think this is great if you're new to Notion and you want to learn about some of the features and things that you can do in here. As you complete each of the tutorials, you can also choose to hide the ones that have been completed, which will allow you to mark them as done as you work through each tutorial. And then we also have some of the featured templates by Notion, which is a great way to build up your Notion page. So let's add a couple templates just to show you some examples. Let's add in this Instagram planner, for example. It'll take just a moment and it'll duplicate in here. Okay, so we have a couple of different pages here. So right now this end of month task section has our end of month task databases. And we want to be able to see these tasks populating on our homepage. So the way that we do this is super simple. We're going to click on the three dots on the database that we want to see. And we're gonna go down here to customize and then we're going to choose an option to add tasks. This will add the tasks to the homepage section. It's going, to it's going to have us map these different properties and we already have due date, status, and person, but we could also create new properties if we didn't already have those. And then we'll choose to turn these into a task database. So if I go back to my homepage here really quickly, you're not gonna see any change here. And this is because there were no people or due dates assigned to these items. So if I assign some of these due dates and I assign myself as the task manager, now when we go back to the homepage, we will see these tasks listed on our My Tasks section. So let me show you the no due date section. So if we assign these to the rest of My Tasks and go back to the homepage, we will see them populate, but they will not have the due date here. And we can add them manually from this portion. You can also customize the filters on here. So if you did want to see tasks from additional people, you could do that. Or if you want to change that, you also see the completed tasks in here, you can do that as well. You can also choose how you want to sort them. The default is that it's by the due date, but you can change this to anything you'd like to see. So this is extremely customizable because you can add really as many tasks in here as you want to. If you have databases that are spread out across all of your workstation, then you can consolidate them all into this one view, which can be really helpful. Now, let's say that we have our Instagram planner here and we have our Instagram feed, but there's no real tasks to this database. So we don't want to see these on our task database, but we do want to see this because it's something that we access often. This is where the home view can come in handy. So let's choose the Instagram feed as our view that we're gonna see here. Now let's hide a few of these other things that we don't wanna see right now. And there we go. 
now we can see all of our tasks together in our task list and we can see our chosen database quickly in this view here. I absolutely love the addition of home pages with Notion and I think it's so helpful for being able to see all of your work and your tasks consolidated into one place. Just make sure that you take the time to customize it to fit your needs and your workspace. If you like this video and you would like to see more like these, then check out the Creators Essentials playlist and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.